Welcome everyone to the session Experience the Power of Pole System by Kiran Kashyap. Uh, just a short introduction about Kiran that uh, Kiran is a, uh, is a proud Scrum Master. Uh, as a Scrum Master, he has taught agility to his team and is involved in exploring way of teaching and practicing agility with a unique flavor of his own. Uh, in his leisure, leisure time, he has been seeing uh, playing badmintons and he loves reading. Let's get started. Over to you, Kiran. Hey, hey, thanks for the introduction, uh, Karthik. So, hi all, uh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon from uh, wherever you are. So, um, so this is the topic, um, experience the power of pull systems. So before going there, I'll, uh, I just want to thank uh, Agile India and team, you know, for giving me an opportunity to talk at uh, Agile India. And uh, yeah, so before going into the topic, I'll just quickly introduce myself. Um, myself, Kiran, and uh, and and I have been in this industry for close to nine years. And uh, apart from work, right, uh, I have been an open source contributor, and I have been blogger, and I've also co-authored a book on uh, metrics for agile product teams. And uh, and I'm also a volunteer at Tech Code Circle, which will help you know Scrum Master project managers uh, to become a uh, more techy, and uh, for them we help. Uh, you know, on the concepts like uh, technical agility and stuff related to that. So, and I also love uh, playing badminton and uh, and I love reading uh, history and uh, uh, history and philosophy. So, yes, um, enough about me. Let's start. So, before going to um, discuss uh, how to create a pull system, so let us first try to understand what is a push system and what is a pull system, right? Um, a push system is something um, uh, where the work is being pushed to people, right? Without considering their capacity. So that is on a high level uh, push system. And what is a pull system? It is a system where work is be being pulled by person based on their capacity. Here, the work is not being pushed onto the person or people. Rather, the work is being pulled by them whenever they have the capacity. Right. Um, if you have not understood it fully, that's okay. We can, um, you know, you'll understand this more as I, you know, as we talk about other things. But but we can again discuss in this uh, Q&A session as well if you want to know more about this. So um, so I'll try to uh, explain how we created a system, a pull system in our team, in the form of story. So so in that story, let us. Um, you know, let us assume we have this, we have this team, and the team is called as Avengers, and uh, we have developers, tester, and product owners. Three developers, two testers, and a product owner. Here, the team assigns tasks to themselves, right? Nobody, nobody tells the team. I know members. Okay, you pick this work or you pick this work. Here, the team assigns tasks to themselves, right? Generally, this is where we think that we have created a pull system. And this is the board they are currently using, right? Uh, this is their team board. Um, they have this backlog and they have their development column, peer review column, testing, and this is the column they are using, right? So uh, do we have a pull system here? Is my first question, right? We obviously know this is not a pull system, but if you think, why is it not a pull system? If you any of you have an answer, you can just ping in the chat. Why do you think it's not a pull system? I'll just give a few seconds of time, right? If you if you have some answer, you can ping. Otherwise, I'll I'll explain you why is it a pull system or why it is not. Right. So I hope my question is clear. Um, if so, my question is: this is the current board the team is using. Is this a pull system? If not, why is it not a pull system? If you have a simple short answer, feel free to ping it in the in the chat i'll just wait for a few seconds if i don't get any answer then i'll i'll proceed with it yes we have an answer it does not have whip limits it's l0 not a pull system okay yes it's not a pull system why is it not a pull system because because if you see here, the tester doesn't have the right to say no. So in pull system, um, what happens uh, here, the team or, or, or a person pull
pulls the work to himself or he gets a work only when he or she has the capacity to take the new work otherwise if the work is being pushed on that person it's a push system let me go back to the board right and 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 explain you how i'm uh, so let's say uh, here uh, the developer finished couple of tasks and pushed to peer review and here the once the peer review is done it's again pushed to testing column so when the task is being pushed onto the testing column this person is not concerned whether the tester is available to take work or not continuously the work is being pushed to the tester so um, this this particular person is not worried whether tester is able to work, take work or not it is being continuously pushed the work is being piled one by one to the tester and that is why here the tester is shouting that i do not have the right to say no this is not a and that's why this is not a pull system so one conclusion i'm trying to tell you is in a typical pull system everybody has the ability to say no when i say ability to say, say no is not yet i can take it after i get free so that's what i meant now how do we solve this problem any answers anyone how can we give the team the ability to say no any answers anyone if you have some answers you can you know ping it self managed teams okay any other answer how can we empower the team you know the ability to say no how can we bring it you know into the system now the teams is self managed but still there is some uh, pull the task from peer review column yes uh, now also that uh, dev column before the test column that holds card okay tester pulls the task from the peer review column yes tester pulls the task but um, but so you cannot stop the peer review guy once he finishes the task you cannot stop the guy you know for him to push the work once he finishes to the uh, testing column all right so what did we do i think we already got the answer uh, from one of the uh, person before so we added work in progress limits right um, what is work in progress limit it is nothing it is just a simple limit which we put in each of the column so let's say we have uh, we have here different columns here you know we have development peer review testing and for each of the columns we are defining a number you know above which we will not do so let's say at a time we are developing only three items we are not taking more than three items in the developing column so that is the limit we have put in the developing column similarly Two is the limit we have put to the peer review column, and similarly for testing, we have put a limit of two. Right now, you may ask the question: How do we come up with this number, three, two, and two? So, it it is just experiment. You guys can experiment with your own teams, you know, to come up with that number. We initially started with this three because we have three developers, and so we went ahead and uh, experimented with number three. and later if it doesn't work out we can always change based on the new learnings yeah how do you arrive i hope i answered your uh, question and and you can put these questions in the q and a column as well later you know we'll we'll take these uh, questions now now we solved the now now our initial problem was uh, the developers the tester doesn't have the have the ability to say no right so do we have we given the tester the ability to say no no yes right because here if you see the whip limit for testing is 2 that means once there are two work items here two cards here the the card here cannot move here because there is already a limit which is 2 so now this board the system itself will tell that uh you know we will tell the ability for the people working in each column to say no now did we create a proper perfect pull system or yes or no anyone just yes or no do you think we have created a pull system now yes or no
okay one yes all right now we have solved a problem where we where the team can have the ability to say no but but it has created another problem now earlier now the developers started shouting i we have the right to say no but i am not getting the credit for the work i have finished how did this happen right now let me go back to the board again now what happened developer has three items working parallelly he has finished all his items he wants to get you know move this card to the peer review column and he has to and he decided he or she has decided you know to pick up the new item from the backlog now that cannot be done because the peer review already has two items working on it and if i go to the testing column and 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 why peer review uh, the two columns the two cards is stuck because the tester is already stuck with two items which he is working on from a long time the tester is stuck maybe because there is some environment issue uh, maybe because he is waiting for some information from different team now since tester is stuck here the whole work before the testing column is also stuck right now because of which the developer is telling i have finished my work and i am not able to finish it and and management is asking developer as well why are you holding these three items from a long time now this has created a lot of confusion now developer goes back to tester and starts adding pressure on to the tester like because of you we all are stuck and everybody is questioning me whether i have completed my work or not now the big problem is because of adding the wip limits we have created even more problems right so this is one of the uh, main learnings we had so uh, whenever we hear about kanban and you know pull system the first option that comes to mind is adding wip limits but just adding wip limits may cause a lot of other problems now how did we solve this problem we just split each column into do two uh, two columns so development we did it doing done similarly peer review doing done and we just add doing done now developer has the you know whenever the developer has finished some items it is going to done and now the developer knows that whatever uh, he has finished it is done and whoever comes to the board and sees let's say it's manager or anyone they know that this this particular person has finished his task and they can go directly and see where it is exactly being um, you know blocked so let's say here also it is done and here also it is done so yeah right here it is the testing work that is stuck all the three items or whatever it is and that's how we can identify this blockers now developer instead of going and blaming the tester the developer can go and help the tester to move the things to done because it is blocking his work also right and once that culture is formed instead of people blaming each other now everybody can work as a team now now developer need not worry about you know what people will think whether he's finished his work and uh, you know whether it is visible to other management everybody and he is not worried about that he knows that he has completed his item all he has to do is he can go back and help the tester or help the peer review column to move the things you know ahead and and yeah and 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 so and this is not the perfect pull system again it can again improve the goal is we always you know uh, need to continuously improve identify wherever we can improve the system as a whole and we have to improve the system as a whole right not only just a uh, development column or each work center we have to see if we are doing some changes in some column is it affecting to the whole system and and yeah this is how we implemented uh, you know uh, a pull system this may not be the perfect one but it it always has the you know room to improve and now everybody is happy there is no you know pressure on developer tester product owner everybody is happy because everybody is being everybody is pulling items only when they have work and uh, and yeah and and if you ask me even uh, you know even more uh, if you ask me this is not a perfect full system i would agree with that because here in the backlog if you see the product owner can keep adding items here right and and that sort of may create a you know psychological push 
to the whole system you know the, the people keep seeing there is a lot of items continuously being added here and what do we do so um, we can add a whip limit in the backlog as well um, uh, so only few items are visible to the whole team and that that also can be another improvement right um, so what did we discuss till now i'll just uh, explain the advantages of uh, pull system which we already discussed uh, one is quickly adapt to uh, changes um, like we saw uh, the uh, we immediately identified okay this is where uh, you know the bottleneck is and we have to change something we may have to add more testers to the team because every time the testers is is, is getting blocked right that is where the the work is getting bottlenecked always that is we can quickly adapt to whatever change we want to change and identify bottlenecks uh, like i told uh, so we easily know where in which work center exactly the bottleneck is happening and we can take action on them and uh, shared ownership of items like i explained instead of developer blaming the tester one for not finishing things quickly uh, now the developer can go to the tester and work with him or her and then push the items to the next stage and improve predictability now since uh, since everybody's focus is to move the items to the next stage continuously and now the the overall flow improves now the lead time improves when i say lead time it is the time taken from uh, if if in in our board from backlog till done that is the lead time and uh, and the lead time uh, predictability will improve you, you know sometimes what happens there are some items which uh, you know we suddenly finish in just half a day and there are some work items which takes like two weeks to finish and now these kind of items also we can sort of improve that that gap we can reduce and then of course improve quality since we are adding work in progress limit uh, people are working only uh, at a time they are at maximum working uh, one item or two item at a time so their focus is only on that and uh, this will significantly improve the quality um yeah so uh, to summarize um, we discussed uh, what is a pull system and uh, what is a push system and uh, how did we implement this in in our teams and um, and because of adding whip limits what challenges we faced in fact it went even worse than what it was before and then how did we correct it right we added doing done column in each of the columns and uh, and yeah and also we discussed what are the advantages and uh, and yeah that's it um any questions kiran i see one question by teddy bush in q and a yeah. that uh, this still isn't a yeah. complete poll system is anything that you would like to share on those lines uh, i think that was asked before um um uh, uh before i was uh, explaining but but yeah i agree with that statement it still isn't a pull system we still have to uh, there is always room for improvement but do you have any um edi do you think any anything can be improved in this final stage to make it a at a pull system i am i'm happy to hear uh john wilson does it make sense to throttle the bottleneck yeah i agree with you um i was just trying to explain we can identify bottlenecks and take decisions based on that it is just um helps us identify the bottleneck but but yeah i agree with you there uh, thank you so much kiran and, for your time yeah, today thank thanks again ajay india for giving me the opportunity and 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 feel please everyone if you can connect me on linkedin it would be great and if you have any feedback uh, please feel free to ping me on linkedin i would i'm happy i'm always happy to receive a feedback thanks, thanks.